Hello, people. Welcome to You Make Real Estate Construction Services Limited, a third generation building design and construction company in Nigeria with the mission to deliver top notch projects at relatively affordable costs. In this channel, we are going to demystify construction projects in Nigeria, talking about the drawings, the different construction stages, and the relative cost. The cost it may take you to take down your construction project from where it is now to the next level. In today's video, we are going to talk about the cost and the construction stages of taking this contemporary four bedroom duplex from the foundation and setting out stage to the finishing stage. Considering the 2023 construction market in Nigeria within Port Harcourt, River State. The first stage we're going to talk about is the foundation to the PC stage. This is a very important stage in every building and it involves a number of activities which includes the site preparation, setting out, excavation, leveling, of course doing the column bases, the mountain of columns, and of course the casting of the foundation through to setting out of the block from foundation to dpc then determining the level of the dpc then the carpentry work of the dpc and the iron bending work the block work to dpc the filling and rammering and so on the site preparation involves clearing the site Identification and erecting the temporary storage facility for the building project. And of course, getting everything in place for the construction project to take effect. Next is the setting out, which involves pegging and marking out the foundation and block uh, lines on the profile. After this is the excavation of the foundation trenches along with the column bases. And um, to achieve this, a level is determined to get a plumb level, which helps to determine the level and the thickness of the foundation concrete. And then the column base, uh, and then the columns are mounted. And then, um, of course, there will be a casting to hold it while the block work is being set out. After the block has been laid from the foundation to the DPC level, then there is boarding and casting of the columns from that foundation to the dpc level after which we fill the building area with filling sand which in most cases will be laterite or sharp sand or condemned sharp sand rama it to compact very well and water it in preparation for the casting of the dpc itself when this is done to specification next will be the casting of the dpc which is normally to a thickness of uh, 150 millimeters, up, which is approximately six inches. This all important stage in this contemporary four bedroom duplex cost about three million naira to accomplish. And of course, marked the end of what I call the dirty aspect of the job. The next stage on this project was to set out the blocks from the DPC and walk it all through to the decking level. Of course, this involves a number of things, which include setting out, um, the laying of blocks, and of course, the marking out of the doors and windows, the lintels, and uh, taking it all the way to leveling, and of course, the decking. The setting out at this stage involves transferring the dimensions as they are on the drawing onto the project's ground floor. At this stage, care is taken to ensure that the doors are marked out because of course we know that the doors start from the DPC level and gets all the way to the lintel. So here is the point at which you mark out all the doors for each of the spaces in the, in the, in the building. On this particular project, we had a number of spaces on this on the ground floor, which includes the entrance porch, which leads you directly to the sitting room area. Of course, 
having a connection with the dining area. Then from the dining area is a circulation lobby that links the dining area to the either the, the visitor's toilet or the visitor's room. Now the visitor's toilet, with common toilet with other visitors, which is which was treated like a Jack and Jill toilet kind of. Then we had the kitchen, and of course the kitchen store, which is more like the pantry, and of course a uh, kitchen veranda which leads to the outside. Then finally, we have the staircase which leads to the um, upper floor of the building. Now, when the block work is going up. At a determined level, which could be peculiar to a design or a building, then the windows are marked out. Of course, all the windows are not at the same level, for instance, the kitchen window, the uh, staircase window are a bit higher than others. Then, when these are marked out, then the block is laid to the later level. At the later level, we try to, what we do normally is to chain the building to ensure that all the buildings, particularly the outside walls, and in most cases, the inside walls uh, too, are all joined together. This helps the building in a number of ways. And I'm interested in this particular one, which is to help the building transfer, first of all, to link, it, link all the columns up together. And of course, help it transfer the load from the upper part of the building through the columns to the foundation. Now, the lintel also marks the end of most of the windows on this floor. Yeah, I say most of the windows because in some cases, you may have windows that run all the way from ground floor to the last floor. But most windows end at the lintel level. That is to say that the lintel on this project had draw function. Number one is to mark the end of most of the windows as we can see here two was to link up all the columns to help the building transfer its load from the upper part of the building down to the foundation which is more or less a structural function now having a structural function the lintel is done to specification using the recommended reinforcement as well as casting with the right mix of cement, sand, and aggregate. It is what you have mentioned that it is at this lintel level that all the columns are being cast to the lintel level. And of course, together with the lintel, we join and uh, link all the building parts together. After the lintel comes the level of the house, which is more or less a time where two, two or three, three blocks are added on top of the lintel to give us a good headroom before the decking comes in. Yeah, I say two or three because initially it was two, two blocks. But now to get a good headroom because of POP designs and the rest of them, it's preferable to now add three blocks. So that by the end of when the POP has taken one or one and a half blocks, you will still have a good headroom. On this project, everything block work, apart from the setting out, was done on counting basis. If you are familiar with construction works in Nigeria, you will understand what we mean when we say counting. Because normally, counting is when the, uh, the bricklayers lay their blocks and by the end of the day, you count them and pay them per block. While the other um, style is the day pay where you tell them for instance. You lay 120 blocks and by the end of the 120 blocks, I will pay so and so amount for the day. In all, laying the blocks from the DPC to the decking level, including the, the lintel and every other work that was done there on this project, cost about two million naira to achieve. The decking, which is the next big thing on this project, took about three million naira to accomplish, and this includes the woodwork, the iron work, the casting, and all the rishi rishi we join body follow them. For the woodwork, we used mainly marine board for the under deck and then sapele board for the sides. The iron reinforcement work was done with different diameters of rods, which includes the 16mm rods, which was used for the columns and the beams, then 
the 12mm rods, which was root for the matting of the decking, and of course the 8mm rods, which was used as the steerers, and uh, finally the binding wires, which was used to tie them together. Yes, once you achieve this, one, you achieve this one, you don't know how happy you are, do you? We ensure the use of a good concrete mix ratio coupled with a concrete mixer and a poker machine to achieve the desired uh, results. Now, let me tell you the work of all these things. A good concrete mix will ensure the strength, the maximum strength of the concrete when um, after curing. Then the, the, mix, the concrete mixer will ensure that the cement, sand and aggregate are mixed perfectly well during the casting so that by the time the, 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 the concrete cures, it gains its full strength. Then the poker machine is used to to vibrate the concrete as the casting is being done, such that um, it removes all the air pulses from the concrete, which helps it to to reduce the possibility of vibration as well as gain its full strength after curing. At this point in this project, we have concluded the third phase of the project, which is the decking. Now. Preparing preparations are being made for the setting out and laying of blocks on the decking, which is more or less getting out all the rooms that are set to be on this floor. After setting out the blocks that marked out all the spaces on this level, the next thing we did is to mark out all the windows and door spaces. The block work continued one block after another each day until we got to the lintel level which is a defining level bringing out all the contours all the corners and establishing all the cantilevers of the house since this is the final floor of the house this lintel is the one that actually ends all the windows even those that were that ran from ground floor all the way up we end at this lintel just like the lintel on the ground floor it will also link all the corners of the building all the columns such that it chains the building all the way transferring the load down to the foundation after the lintel just as was done on the ground floor a leveling of at least two, two blocks was done this one being the final um the final leveling Consider the roof and the parapet beams. As you can see, we chose a flat roof for this building, which uh, signifies its contemporariness. To use this kind of roof, a lot of things have to be taken into consideration, which we will discuss in our another video. The parapet comes in different shapes and sizes. And for this particular building, we chose the simple flat parapet. And now the casting, as you can see, is done with a very liquid, more or less, mixture of concrete, such that it follows whatever shape you give it. And when it cures, the concrete will look very smooth and neat. And as you can see, it's a risky job. And this is the part of the job you do with the cool headed workers that will listen to you and could give you a good mix. And of course, hand you over the mixture when you need them. The block work from the decking to the roofing stage, including the parapet and the lintels and every other work that was done, cost the project about 3 million to achieve. Now the next is the roofing of the project. Like I said earlier, the choice of flat roof comes with its advantages and disadvantages. One of the many advantages is that you would do little woodwork for instance as you can see the woodwork for this roof is not as big as when you are doing a high pitched roof of course this results to savings in the cost of the wood as well as the carpentry work that would have been done for this building however care should be taken to ensure that the roof slopes well and this implies there will be no single depression whatsoever anywhere because if that happens that will lead to a percolation of water around that area and when water collects in that area 
the possibility of draining into the house is very 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 high so this we should take note of when using a, a flat roof for your building on another note going for a flat roof implies that you're not going to bother yourself so much about how the roof covering is going to look for instance instead of spending so much going for stone coated roof tiles which of course are going to be seen by people you can use for instance what we used here is the ordinary long span okay actually this one is a multi-couple long span which is less costly but of course you go for the high gauge which will give you the quality that you want for the building and of course this will ensure that there is no leakage whatsoever in any part of the building and the water flows very well and from what you can see from the ground floor you will not see this roof when it's completed all you will be seeing is just the edges that will be well finished by the end of the day the good thing is that these things are done before the plastering and dressing which implies even if there is any corner that is not exactly as straight as we want it it will be taken care of with dressing and plastering at that stage the roofing system for a contemporary building is simple and economical and this is one of the advantages of a flat roof then after the roofing has been completed the next thing on board is to do the scaffolds which will be used for the plastering and of course the fixing and dressing of the um, windows and at the completion of the roof everything about the facade of the building is coming out gradually the building has taken sh its shape the woodwork roofing sheets and all associated works about this building uh, about the roofing of this building took about 2.5 million to accomplish that's excluding the parapet anyways the next stage to consider here is the plastering stage it is safer to go for the ranging plastering which ensures that a range is used to take the level of the building such that all corners are straight and at range this practice actually takes care of, takes care of any errors that may have occurred during the block laying phase of the work and also ensures that during the screening there isn't much filling that will be needed because every kind of filling will be done during plastering and of course this helps to get all the edges to be straight as the work progresses just to mention here that it is at the plastering stage in most cases that the electrical wires in a building are fixed this is because in some cases, the pipes could block during the casting stage or during whatever uh, other work that had been done. But during the process, if such thing is discovered, the electrician can redirect the wires through another source and still have the sockets or whatever function on at the end of the day. And all. So I accomplish the scaffolding as well as the plastering. This, which includes the sand, the cement, and the workmanship of the whole project took about 3 million naira to accomplish. When the plastering has been accomplished, the next thing in line is the fabrication and fixing as well as dressing of the doors and windows of the house. This is done at this stage to ensure that the workmen that did the plastering are also used to do the necessary work of the dressing of the uh, the doors as well as the windows another strong reason is to ensure that the scaffold which was used for the plastering is also used for the dressing of the windows on the outside the windows for this project included a very well crafted solid burglary proof which was part of the window and was installed together and this took the cost of the window plus the burglary proof to about 30 million naira to accomplish in addition the doors for this project right from the entrance door the room doors as well as all the toilet doors took about 2 million naira to bring to site and install the next thing we did here was to screen the house both inside and outside this was done because of a number of reasons first because we want a very smooth finish and of course because of the kind of paint we wanted to use for the internal and external walls and this was done at the same time as the tiling work as you can see from the pictures as the screen was ongoing of course the tiling work was also ongoing in some different places 
Now, at this stage, we had already decided what the theme of the house was going to be, which was to be as white as possible. So that is why all the tiles that were selected, the screening and, every, and the paint all, all complied with the theme, which is black, white and ash. In fact, it was mainly white and every other thing is a touch of black and a touch of ash, as you can see from the finished product. The tiling of the house, both the walls and the floors, took approximately 3 million to accomplish. And this includes the cost of buying the tiles, the cost of the cement and the sand, of course, the cost of the labor that was used to install all of them on the site. The next item after this was the electrical fittings which give us uh, gave us more headache of course we had to uh, choose and make sure that the choices we made complied with the theme of the house and of course we're unique enough to make that statement we wanted so by the end of the day the choices of all the electrical fittings for the entire building was about 2.5 million naira the next item on the list was the room and kitchen cabinets here we bought the HDF boards and of course employed our carpenters, gave them the designs that we wanted, the specific one we wanted, and all these were fabricated in the site. As you can see here, they did all the job here and of course to the specification. In all, this room and kitchen cabinets in its unique nature and its appliances cost the project a whooping sum of three million naira to accomplish but however we are glad we did that because by the end of the day it's just standing out other activities that are not covered in this video include the buying and installation of the sanitary appliances the painting and other appliances that were installed in the building however to achieve a similar project in this present day nigeria will take between 30 to 45 million naira depending on the choices that are going to be made along the way which is a function of the taste of the owner of the building as well as the resources available to us at the time of the construction thank you for being with us and see you in the next one